I've worked for this company for 48 years. It's such a joy to be able to admire these cars every day. We started in 1966 and our first car was presented in Frankfurt. Afterwards, we launched a new model every year. We always worked with lots of passion, using our ideas, those of Peter Monteverdi and the clients. Mr. Monteverdi was an extraordinary man, but sometimes a little bit particular. He was only ever satisfied after we had managed to realize his crazy ideas in the fastest time possible. He started to build his first car at age 16, the Monteverdi Special. It was approved for the road two years later, and he was able to drive it with his personalized number plate, BL1616. Monteverdi often drove it around, and you could just see that he was just crazy about cars. This is the high model from 1970. It had a 450 horsepower engine, making it one of the most incredible cars of its time. It was presented at the Geneva Motor Show, where it caused a global sensation. It helped get the Monteverdi name known all over the world. Building a car was much simpler in the past. Computers didn't exist, so cars were designed by hand. You then made a wooden model and hammered a metal sheet onto it. After that, the car body form was taken off and welded onto the chassis. In this way, we could produce a custom-made car. It was a haute couture car in the real sense of the word. The oil crisis of 1973-1974 forced us to think about what we were going to do in the future. Peter Monteverdi's idea was to build a 4x4 luxury car, which didn't yet exist at the time, with power steering and air conditioning. The car saved the company. Our cars have been sold to lots of very famous people around the world, from Britain to Australia, and including the United States, Japan, Iran, Iraq. People from all of these places have driven our cars. I think the name Monteverdi will survive. The reason is very simple. You can pronounce it perfectly in any language. In jede Sprache perfekt. Ja, 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 ja,